So if you could like uh, reduce your stress levels, would that be useful? Oh, that would be intensely useful. Um, mm -hmm. And my tension levels and my anxiety, I can't turn it off and it feels almost like I'm warring against myself because it's not a natural feeling um, and I just don't know what to do with it at all. So if we could do something about giving you a tool to be able to um, have an influence on your stress response, you would be a happy girl. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, not everybody gets fibromyalgia, but a lot of people have our stress response stuck on, and that's just, it's a constant wear on the body. Kind of like having the engine on the car all the time, but only really needing it when we're driving. It makes sense. That's, that's what it feels like. It feels like I just need to turn off and rest, and then I'll be okay. Hey, but I can't. I can't take the key out of the engine. I don't know how. And right now, what level of stress do you feel like zero to ten ish? I'm probably and almost always running on like a seven or an eight. Got it. Okay. Just wanted to check in with that. So out in front of this computer, I want you to just find some point on the wall. Could be the corner of a picture frame. You don't need to look at me now. Just listen and look at that point, okay? Remember how I was talking about how your body always follows your mind? You're using your conscious awareness now. You're basically choosing where your conscious awareness is going. It would naturally be like paying attention to me, but you're choosing to stick it on a single point. And the thing about putting it on a single point is that points are pretty simple things. They don't actually require much reaction. And if you find your mind drifting off the, the um, point, like what is this stupid guy talking about or whatever, just when you notice that, bring your attention back to the point. Okay. So no problem, no pressure, no judgment, no hurry. Just observe that point. I'm doing the same thing. We have a little light catcher in a window over there, and I'm just observing that. Okay. Now, when we do this, when we observe a single point, we react to that point. That's actually what you're reacting to right now. If a tiger ran in the room, you'd stop reacting to the point and you'd jump out the window to save yourself. But you are reacting to that single point. And literally the chemistry of your body corresponds right now to what it takes to react to a single point. Which is different from a moment ago when all that stuff was churning that you are reacting to even unconsciously, right? So that you're running around a seven or an eight normally. Okay, so now a few feet away from that, find another point and look at a second point. No need to look at me, just observe that point. It's the exact same thing now. Your body is responding to that point. And because you already looked at another point before, you're continuing to do this, your chemistry is moving in a calmer direction. You may begin to feel a slight difference in your body just because you're reacting to a point instead of the accumulated life of Brenda. Okay, so that's all there is to do. Just look at that point for a second. Now, the next thing I'm going to invite you to do is to imagine that between these two points, you can observe an empty space. Behind it is the wall or outside the window or whatever, but bring your attention now, your gaze, to between these two points. And you can imagine that between these two points, it's like a sphere or something of empty space. And just look into the empty space. Observe the empty space. And you're actually now observing a space that has nothing in it. Are you kind of following along with that, tracking with that? What was that? You're observing the space that has nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Is that working? Okay. Yeah, so, definitely. So, nice space, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah. This is probably the most relaxed that I've been in I don't even know how long. <laughs> Since your girl was born, maybe, huh? Uh, probably, yeah. Since, yeah. since probably right before I was pregnant, yeah. Yeah. So the deal is nobody ever told you how to observe nothing. Yeah. 
What's so crazy for, is I was actually, they thought I had ADHD when I was little. So this is like a big deal because they taught me all the other organizational tools, but definitely nothing like this, nothing. No, and, and you know, once you see it, it's like, it's so simple, right? Yeah. Simple why enough, it's like, oh, why didn't yeah, I know that? It's like, why does my fight, fight, freeze return, stress response turn on? Well, because it's reacting to something. So if I yeah. give it nothing to react to, it just turns off. Yeah. Okay. And it's, I and can notice definitely you just, remember this. Teach this to my four-year-old. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> there you go. Well, you should. Because wouldn't it have been nice yeah. if you and I had learned that as kids? It would have been amazing to have this knowledge even a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How does your body feel now? I feel maybe that I'm at a two, but I think that because my muscles are so tense, it's impossible for me to get below that. Oh, my body Ooh. level was probably like a 10 or 11 huh. to the point where okay. I like clenched my teeth. Got it. Without realizing Just it. Just a few moments ago. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, now you're at a two. Oh yeah, definitely a two. My body is definitely a two and my mind is actually at a one there's very little stress there at all if any okay i'm actually so, just excited <laughs> got it got it okay now you've done it twice and you know what that place feels like the first time it was mysterious and now it's like oh yeah i just did this yeah, yay, I'm there. yeah and eventually if you want this can be the place you live from doesn't mean you can't do anything it just means you're living from a non-reactive place. And I'd say that everything is probably at zero right now.